This tutorial will explain the easiest way to make a piano video with particles, in the style of YouTubers like Rousseau or Kasha. Today I'll be using the C-Music app, which is free to download from the link in the video description. So once you've installed the C-Music app, let's go ahead and open it up. To make a piano video with particles, you'll need two types of files. A video file with the footage of your performance, and a MIDI file with the data of your performance. For this tutorial, I already have my MIDI and video files recorded. If you need help recording, please check out the How to Record tutorial link in the video description. So the first thing we're going to do is import the files we want to make our video with. To import a file, we click the Import button over here on the right. This process will be slightly different on Android and iOS, and you'll see instructions for importing on those platforms when you tap the import button. So first let's import our video footage. And we're going to click create piece. And a quick note on how pieces work in the CMusic app. The CMusic app links MIDI and video files together when you assign them to the same piece. You can see all of the pieces you've created by clicking this button up at the top left. Here's a list of pieces. You can also save and export piece files, which are just collections or set lists of pieces. So here are all the pieces in that piece file. And the app comes with a bunch of sample pieces here. So the next step in creating our video will be to import our MIDI data and link it to the video data by assigning it to the current piece. So we click the import button again and select our MIDI file. This time we'll select assign to current, which will assign this MIDI file to the piece we just created from the video file. It doesn't actually matter which order you import the files in as long as they're assigned to the same piece. If we head over to media settings here, we can see that the MIDI file and the video file have been assigned to the same piece. And if we skip around, we can see that we now have the following notes from the MIDI file linked up to the performance in the video file. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using the video sound instead of the MIDI synth sound, so we're going to turn off the MIDI synth sound here using the sound toggle button. So you can see everything's loaded in now, but the video is not quite in the right place. So we're going to open up video settings here, and we can control the position of the video to make sure it's aligned with our keyboard. And actually it looks like there's a bit of black there at the top, so we need to use the crop feature to crop that out. Great. Great, that's looking better. And we can increase the opacity now that we know that it's in the right place. Now in timing, we can make sure that our video is properly synced with the footage. If you play the video right now, you'll see that it's not gonna line quite up with the notes. It almost looks good, but if you look closely, you'll see that it, it wasn't quite lined up. So we're going to use the time offset feature here to offset the footage so that it's exactly synced with the notes. Great, so that looks good now. And in video settings, this looks a bit bright for a Rousseau style video, so I'm also going to decrease the brightness a little bit of the video footage, which is a pretty cool feature. You can now do almost everything that you would normally do in a video editor inside C Music, which just really simplifies the whole process of making a video like this. Great, so our video's good to go. Let's head over to the color tab and choose a color for our video. You can see there are five different options for color. In single color, you can choose a single color for the piece, and the whole piece will use that color. In 12 color mode, 
you'll be assigning a color to each of the 12 pitches. You can see those work individually for each of the notes based on their pitch. In dynamic color mode, it'll combine all those colors you chose into one color at any given moment in time that changes dynamically, which is pretty cool. And in gradient color mode, you can create a horizontal, a vertical, or a diagonal gradient, which is pretty popular on a lot of channels. And if you're making tutorials, you can use the track mode to use a different color for the left and right hands. For this video, I'm just going to use a gradient. And I'm going to make it the style of the Campanella video on my channel. So that had kind of a light blue on the bottom and a sort of rusty red at the top. Great, so that's looking pretty good. Over in effect settings, you can control basically everything about the visualization. In note settings, you can add outlines or labels to turn them on here first. And in keyboard settings, you can change the position or the scale of the keyboard. If you have a keyboard with less than 88 keys, use the scale feature to increase the size of the app keyboard. You may also need to spend a little extra time aligning your video footage and possibly do a little cropping after rendering. Custom support for those smaller keyboards will eventually be coming to CMusic, but I promise that it's already possible to make great videos for smaller keyboards using the current version of the app if you spend a little time with this. In particle settings, you can customize everything about the particles. The count slider controls how many particles there are on the screen, if you want to have a really dense number of particles or a sparse number of particles. There are also lots of options for controlling the style of the turbulence in advanced settings. For instance, evolution speed and frequency, and lots of other settings, uh, including blending. This will change how bright the particles are and even the opacity of the smoke and the fire. So there's a lot there. In light settings, you can control the lights. If you don't have any lights in your video footage, you can use the add light to video feature, which will artificially replicate that. There's no replacement for having an LED strip on your actual piano in terms of having that true Rousseau look, but the add light to video feature is as close as it comes and it still will look great. For the Saber control, the app comes with three default Saber videos. If you want more, you'll need to use After Effects and the free Video Copilot Saber plugin to create your own Saber videos, which is how these were created. Saber videos should be loopable and ideally rendered out at 1920 by 500, although the app can import them at other resolutions as well. The texture control lets you put an image or a video inside the notes. The app comes with one default video texture, but you can actually use any image or video from the web. There's no special format that's needed. Just use Google search to look for images or videos that you want to use. You can click import file here to import those files. The glow settings are pretty simple. You can just turn the glow on and off and increase or decrease the intensity. Background settings lets you choose between a black or a color background. And you can also add an image to use as the background. So for our video, we're pretty much all set and we're ready to render. So just over here on the right, we have the create video button. Just click that. This will bring up render settings. And you can control a lot about how the video is gonna be rendered. The frame rate, the resolution, and whether or not it has sound. Rendering at 4K will take a bit longer, but the quality will be higher. I think we'll just do normal HD for this one. Rendering at 60 frames per second will take twice as long, but again, a great feature if you need it. And just a quick note on render troubleshooting. In general, I'd recommend using a current generation computer or laptop to render with CMusic. If you're still having issues rendering, first try switching the render framework between AV Pro and Basic. One of the two frameworks should work and the final result will be the same. 
And one more render troubleshooting suggestion. There have been some reports that rendering the sound can cause the render to fail on some devices. If you notice that the render is stopping at 33%, try disabling the sound and then add the sound back in later. I know that might seem frustrating, but that is one workaround that can solve the issue. Or of course, you could use it on a different device. And this really shouldn't be an issue on a computer, only on a mobile device. So for now, we'll just hit render. And on a current generation computer, it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes to render a six minute video, which is just incredibly fast compared to After Effects. I think this video took about six hours to render when I made it last year for the channel. So that's a big improvement over After Effects. So I'll see you back here when the render's done. All right, so our render's now complete. So let's go ahead and check out our finished render. Looking pretty good. So that concludes this tutorial since we have a complete video ready to upload to YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy using the Scene Music app. I really just think it makes the process of creating these videos a lot easier and a lot more fun. If you have any issues while you're using Scene Music, please leave a post on the Scene Music support forum on the Visual Music Design website. You can easily get to the support forum by clicking the question mark at the left of the main screen. Please also consider leaving a five-star review for the C Music app. It helps other people find it, and I would really, really appreciate it. That's it for this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy making videos with C Music. <laughs>